hook function is a function that you can use to replace a function so that the game calls your hook instead of you know the real function so I have a uh, game here once OBS shows Roblox and it has a couple buttons here we have shoot and we have reload so these are just a couple simple things um, that I do together and then we have a kick button which kicks you I don't know why it just refuses to show the kick message that has never happened before there it goes okay so now that we are in the game I'm going to quickly just you know show how it's laid out and take a look at the script so here's our GUI has our nice buttons and inside the scripts you can see we have all these functions right here kick get ammo update ammo shoot reload and I have all of these set up like this so that I can get them easily this video is not about how to get functions that's a different topic this video is just about how to hook them so I'm going to copy the path of these scripts and then I'm going to set that to scripts and then I'm going to get the environment so script environment so get some scripts and then I'm going to get the scripts to that so you see if I loop through that you see it shows all the scripts here or all the functions rather shoot kick reload get ammo up the ammo just as we showed in here and so with that I can just do local kick equals send dot kick so now you're going to hook that kick function so I will do hook function kick and function dot 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 I'm going to do prints try to kick and then we're just going to return nil and then close it off so it is very important to note that this just completely disables the function if I still want to call the function I'm going to save this as a variable so I'll do local old kick and the old kick equals and then I will return old kick this is useful if maybe I want to modify the arguments maybe I know it's gonna do number or I'll maybe like it'll be the like x y maybe I want to do x and then set the y to 100 or some other advanced use case like that but in this case I'm just disabling this function making it just print instead of kick and so now if I execute this go into game if I click the kick button you see instead of kicking me like it did earlier it says try to kick and now I'm going to be um, messing with this shoot so conveniently it happens to be a function starting there uh, called get ammo which I have it very poorly set up here um, just as an example and so I want to hook that and make it return a custom ammo to get infinite ammo so I'll do local what was it called get ammo get ammo and then I'm going to do hook function get ammo function dot 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 and then return 100 which will be in turn 99 because I'll be decreasing it so now if I once again execute this let's see oops if I execute that then if I shoot boom 99 ammo if I reload it sets it back but then I can shoot again so that is an example a couple examples of how to use hook function